Beat Daddy sent me this awesome video on how to install a front entryway and pinwheel design. I get to kick back and watch another master tile setter. Uh oh, guess who's here? Installed tile. Check it out, it's awesome. The only thing he did wrong was uh, put his camera on portrait. Always put it on landscape. That's the only thing. In the audio, I had to uh, dub it a little bit because I couldn't hear it. So sorry about that, Beat Daddy, but it's still an awesome video. The name's Beat Daddy. Man, I love to beatbox when I'm setting some tile. Just <laughs> Let me show you the tile I'm going to be using and the pattern I'm going to be using. So. This is the tile I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my 18 by 18 tile. And I'm going to use uh, little dots in all the corners. But instead of using the white tile, I'm going to cut up this tile here as a red contrast. This is called a pinwheel pattern. <laughs> Okay gang, I just cut all my tiles. As you can see, it's a different color from what you've seen before. It's not really a red tile like I thought it was, more of a brown, but it's going to be very eye captivating. This is basically the layout of the floor when you walk in the front entry of the doorway. This is where it's going to be full tile, and we're going to have about a four and a half inch cut up there. And it's basically, this is what it's going to get equal cuts on each side, so I've got it all figured out. And what I'm using for spacers, I'm using these T-spacers. They're by Cavi. They're nice because I only need them for three-sided joints instead of for four intersecting joints. So, those are the type of spacers I'll be using. Let me show you what I did as far as snapping out my layout for the entryway. So this will be where I'll start. I'll start right here in this section right here is where this tile goes. So I took my measurements and I snapped my lines and I'm ready to go. These are the tools I'm going to be using, a half inch notch trowel, a margin trowel, my wash bucket with my sponge and my wash brush, and here's my mixing paddle. I'm going to start mixing. I'm ready to mix my tin set. I always put a little bit in the bottom of the uh, bucket when I start so that there's no uh, powder after I mix it. So here we go. Got my water in there. Bag. Okay, I got my thin set remixed. I let it slide for 10 minutes. Now I'm getting ready to lay the tile. I've got everything squared off to where I need to be. I've got lines that I need to follow. And I'm getting ready to do the tile. So what I like to do is I like to wash the concrete down first while I'm going to start getting any contaminants off the floor. You always want a nice clean surface to work with when you're putting your tile down. First thing I like to do, this is called keying in the thin set. You burn it into the, the substrate. You hold your tile on a 30 degree angle and you basically you're burning the thin set mortar into the toy dime, it's going pretty good. I struggled a little bit with getting it as flat as I could because I didn't flag the floor like I usually would, like I told you previously. But overall, I think it looks really good. I'm actually really happy with it. Like I said, I'm about halfway done. I got full tiles laying on the door. I got some more cuts to do. But uh, I think it's going to add some value to the house. I don't know what I'm What a beautiful entryway. Man, Beat Daddy, not only is he master tile setter, he's a beat fanatic, man. I really enjoyed this guy. He's awesome. I hope he sends me more videos. Awesome video, Beat Daddy. Remember, landscape, not portrait. Thank you.
the volume up. I don't want to dub over you guys. So if you feel like sending a video to me, Italianfo at Yahoo.com. And I'll post you. I'll have to edit it, but I'll post you. Yeah, the master's channel. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>